Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're sitting on the floor because there's a little bit of an awkward lighting glare across my face and I just, I'd rather avoid it. So where I normally sit, but we're on the floor today. I wanted to take a little bit of time to do a solo video today because we are wrapping up our third week of homeschooling and I just wanted to give you guys the scoop on how that's going so far. So we're doing kind of a relaxed or at least mostly relaxed approach at homeschooling, um, meaning we don't do a whole lot of structure. There's a few papers that we do each day. So each day the first thing that I have her do is we have this little laminated paper that we got from her preschool class. They gave it to us at the end because obviously there's no Kaylee Schaefer. <laughs> there's not a Kaylee Schaefer in every class. So I have her trace her name out, first and last name, and then I have a board that has similar lines, but it doesn't have the outline of her name already ready. And so she takes that and she then copies and free writes it. So she writes her first name and lately she's been wanting to write her middle name too. I think she's going to join us for the video. So every day, <laughs> say hi guys. <laughs> so every day she does that and then she transfers it and does first, middle, and last name. All together. And then I have her write on one of the paper, one of the sheets of paper, and she just writes her first name on that, just for a little bit of extra practice before she starts on the actual papers. So every day we do mostly English and a little bit of math each day, right? And then the rest of the subjects depends on the day. Between geography, art, practical life, gym, we do a different we do a different class each day with our English and math structured. So far in English, we've done some sight words and mostly worked on letters and kind of sounding words out, right? We're working on the sounds of letters like do you know what sound an s makes? No. There you go. Yes. So we've been working a little bit on that and okay. just <laughs> just overall recognizing the letters as what they are, capital and lowercase. So for with practice with the letters, I've made these little flashcards. They're just regular index cards and I laminated them and she's able to trace the capital letters hey, and the lowercase letters here. and I made those A through Z. Z for Z. Z. <laughs> what else? Zombie. Zombie. Yes, she's really big on the zombies movie right now. Mhm. Mm Mostly the second one. So Is she she's one? able to practice with any of those. So she's been able to practice with those and then we also did like sight words. Not showing much interest in those yet, and I don't want to force it because, like I said, we're doing a relaxed approach to the homeschooling this year. And so if she recognizes stuff when we're reading our book, we recently started The Boxcar Children, the very first book in the series. And she's showing a lot of interest in that. So if she decides that she wants to start recognizing the words as we're reading, then I'm all for it, but I'm not going to push it on her because then she's just not going to enjoy it. But even if we're not practicing actually knowing the words, we are at least practicing with the sounds. So she will learn how to sound words out and not just memorize them just because they're sight words. We are also doing the same thing with our numbers. So we've got zero through 10 and I want to do the bigger numbers, you know, 11 through 20, because she recently started learning those as well. But they're kind of hard to fit on here. Um, 
because I have to write the, the actual word big enough so that she can copy it. She doesn't write very small yet. So it's, they probably won't be able to be on the same paper. There you are. <laughs> so for physical education, so for our gym class, she's kind of just been dancing to the zombies songs. So she has an LED hula hoop, and so she yeah. if she's dancing with that, that can count as gym. LED hula hoop to not light up in the dark hula hoops, but you need to have light up in order to see it. And it's fine. <laughs> so when she's dancing to the songs from zombies, I can count that. I have this twist stepper, and it's it's just kind of lifted off the ground, and she's able to walk on it and that can count as gym and when she's running around just being goofy like the other day we were doing a math worksheet and she just she wanted to be up and running back and forth so what we did was she was running back and forth through the house I'm not the kind of mom that says no running in the house I'm perfectly fine with it we don't really have anything very breakable so unless we're cooking mm -hmm. dinner or something she can run back and forth through the house <laughs> so what we did was she would finish a part of the worksheet. <laughs> she would finish a part of the worksheet and then she wanted to run and Isabella was loving it. So she would run and we would count and we counted to 15 each time. And then she would sit down and she would do some more work. And then she would Every do it again. Every time when I would do it and I would run this way, I would... Get Izzy and one this way, get Izzy and I go over again. And she was giggling up a storm. So Katie yeah. was having fun, Izzy was having fun, we were learning. It was amazing. And if you saw our trip to the beach video, mm. I was able to count a decent amount of that towards Jim because she was running up and down the beach and all kinds of active, climbing on the rocks and so I counted about, we were there for about an hour and a half. I counted about an hour of gym class. And I am keeping track of all of that because it's required in the state of Ohio. So for our practical life class, we are just kind of having her do chores with us. So she gets herself dressed in the day, which is very much practical life. She needs to know how to do that stuff. Um, it's also helpful for me because I'm normally in bed with the baby. So she'll get up and she'll get herself dressed, which is awesome. Have to work on the shirts though, right? Yeah, I don't gotta, know how to do looks it now. Got to work on being Only able to put our own shirt on. But, but we're working on it. Head. She's, she's doing very good. Easy to show in the dining So like when we cook, she'll help us cook. And the cleaning, she'll help us, up, help us with that. And we'll be able to count all of that, which yeah. is awesome. We haven't really started character building yet because we haven't been able to get an activity together, but we're thinking character building, we want to do like a kindness unit and gratitude and stuff like that. So I was thinking about starting this thing called Positivity Rocks. She really wants to paint rocks and I thought, how, like, how can I do this besides art class? Somebody at my work had found this and, you know, we used to hide them all the time and we used to paint them all the time. So we're going to rehide this rock. You don't get to keep it, but we're going to rehide this rock. And it gave us the idea of starting our own kind of like um, hide and seek what? Yeah, like that. Like putting our own stickers on the back and teaching her kindness and gratitude and, and how to shoot and find walks like hide and seek right and walks. painting nice pictures for um, other people to find that'll make them happy and and they get to keep it <laughs> and putting words of inspiration or words of motivation or just general kindness and gratitude out into the world for people to find which will teach her and it'll also spread a bunch of positivity into this crazy world especially 2020 mm, thank you mm, I love my mommy
I mm. love everyone that I know. A hundred brewing dogs. So also for practical life, we want to have Kaylee give away to charities or have her choose a random person that she wants to give money to. Like a homeless person yeah, or yeah, 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 a yeah, yeah. person in need that can't afford to buy food for their kids or anything. And so we have... I think we have like $8 in our PayPal account right now that we can just cash out and $8 isn't much, but if it can help somebody out and teach Kaylee a valuable lesson, then we kind of want to steer in that direction. Yay. As far as science, just the other day we went outside and we talked about living versus non-living. And of course, you, I hope you've seen the experiment that Kaylee and I did together for art class. We plan on doing more of the art projects that hopefully you've seen that one as well. We have a lot of fun doing those videos, the science experiment and the art project. So we want to do more of those. So the last thing I wanted to say about our homeschooling experience so far Besides, hey, Kaylee, do you want to stay homeschooled? Yeah. <laughs> the baby is awake, so I'm going to try and wrap this up real quick. Um, I have already decided that I don't like the record keeping and everything that I decided to do. So I did a quick search on the internet, found out that you can do it digitally. So I have... A, an app on my phone and it's on my computer too that is called OneNote. So I've switched everything to digital. I am able to scan everything in as documents, all of the samples of her work, all of our weekly things. So I have weeks one through 36, including spring break and winter break. I have in sections and I have the outline of my curriculum and I have the schedule and I have the hours of instruction, our attendance and everything. I have it all on OneNote and it is so much easier. So each day I just type a little bit about what we did that day and what we've done for the week and I'm done. Easy. I'm, right, I mark that we had attendance and then at the end of each month, I'm going to put the hours of instruction for that month so that at the end of the year, I can total up only the 10 months that we had to do. It is so much easier to system it this way. I don't have to worry about hole punching everything and putting it into its respective binder. That was driving me crazy. I'm very much an organizational person, but I just, I just couldn't do it. It was too much to have to do each day on top of teaching her and on top of having a baby. And I just, it was too much. So baby's calling for us, speaking of her. So we're going to wrap this up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully there'll be more like it with an update on what we're doing in school. There will definitely be more art and more science videos. We'll be doing art projects and experiments and walkthroughs and stuff like that so leave a like on this video and see you guys bye guys have a bye good day guys, have